everybody, it's Patricia, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Shop My Stash Day. So, I have laid out in piles here everything. Um, these are things I pulled just to use. I've got things I always use. I have back here are Project Pan, 10 for 10 Pan, uh, Summer Blooms, and then again, these are just some things I pulled to use. So, um, of course, everything that's in a project is staying. And everything I always use, like I always use only one mascara at a time. And then these are the things that I'm going to replace. So, whoops, let's go through these things if I can get you kind of sturdy here. There we go. I think that's pretty sturdy. Um, this is a primer. Uh, who makes this? E-V-I-O, Evo Beauty? Um, I don't like this. I'm going to declutter this. I'm going to throw it in my empties. I'm not going to give it to anyone. It's really, really low. Uh, but yeah, I don't like it at all. So, I've come to the rationalization. If I don't like something, it just needs to go away. Make room for the things I do like. Right? Right. Uh, I have been using this um, face spray, and I'm getting real low on it, so I think I'm going to keep this in and use it up. Now, the concealer I was using this time was, oh, it's dirty. Dirty over here. The CoverGirl True Blend. I love this drugstore concealer. Um, I am going to switch it out though. I'm trying to rotate them. Not because I don't like them, but because I want to get a lot of use out of everything. So it's time for Tarte in uh, Light Medium Beige, which I'm not 100% happy with this color. Like I said, when I use this up, I will get a new color, but I'm not in any hurry. I mean, it's okay. But yeah, I'm going to use that one. Now, I pulled out this gloss to use because I haven't been using glosses lately. I think I can put that aside and pull something new. Um, for my eyeshadow primer, I was using my Paint Pot and Painterly. It's time to switch that out and let's go with Soft Ochre. Just to rotate them and they get somewhat of an even amount of use. You know? Um, I have this highlighter in Prosecco Pop. I'm going to take that out. I have this NARS um, blush in Gulu. I think that's the one I have. Yeah. Gulu. Uh, I'm going to rotate that out. My Naked Honey palette. I've had some fun with that. It's time to rotate that out. And then my glitters. My glitter and glows and this tart one. I don't care for this tart one. Um, I really don't. I don't know what I'm going to do with this tart one. Keep trying to use it. Um, let me swatch it for you. It's real sheer. I would have liked if it was, let me show you, a, let me just grab one of these Stila's. Well, let's get one of a similar shade here, Figment. Here's Figment. Do you see the difference? You see, a <laughs> big difference. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna declutter this, but I don't know what to do with it. I have no way to sterilize this, so I don't know, but I, I think I'm going to declutter it. I just I just don't like it. Now these three I am going to put back in the drawer. I'm not going to pull any glitters for this time. I will just pull them out of the drawer if, if I think my look needs a glitter. And so let me put these things away and then we will pull new things. Okay guys, I'm back. I have decided... Um, I am going to add to uh, my blushes, I'm going to add this palette. This is the Tarte Color Wheel, the Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. Um, I don't know what year, which year this is from. I wish it told me. I think it's 2017. I'm pretty sure I have not 
used it like one should use it. I have a... Uh, I really need to use this. So I am going to work on this this time around. Also something that has not got a lot of attention is my Natasha Denona Safari palette. Let me open this up for you. Show you. You can tell. Look, I have not played with that hardly at all. And that has got to change. So, these next two weeks, I am going to work on this palette. And these will go along with the things I have in projects. Now I'm going to pick one. Um, one highlighter. All my highlighters are in here except for... I have a couple of loose ones, loose pigment, and uh, some ColourPop. But I have a ColourPop in one of my projects, so it's time to add something else. Ah, uh, this is so tight in here. I need to pull one out so I can see this Morphe. I don't want the Morphe. I just used the Prosecco Pop. I don't think I want the Amethyst. I uh, used Rodeo, Rodeo Drive recently. This is JD Glow. And when they say JD Glow, they mean this thing glows. They don't make it anymore called Marilyn Monroe. I think it's either called Marilyn or it's just called Monroe. Um, glow Goals. Star Island. I do like Star Island. Um, this is retrograde. It's it's a combo. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pull that one. Jeffree Star, I need more of a tan. That one's a little too dark. Uh, 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 uh. I think Retrograde is part Star Island. I think I'll, I'll pull this one. Put Star Island back. JD Glow. And this is a Makeup Revolution, which is a really nice um, highlighter, I must say. There we go. And then, so, put that aside. These are going to be used. And then I pulled uh, this new Huda Beauty uh, Demi Matte Lip I got in my uh, mystery bag. I want to use that. The color is Passionista. And then I pulled out this Urban Decay Vice Lip Topper. And it's in Fever. It's, I call it my Disco Lip, lip Topper. It looks like a disco. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to be home. This is glitter from head to toe. Maybe I should do a video just all glitter makeup. Maybe I'll do that just for fun. Anyway, that is everything. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Questions or comments, leave them down below. And guys, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.